I want to explain uh, how to create a new template and uh, how to work with this template uh, within Labu and together with the Cron plate setter. Cron Labu is uh, a one bit TIFF shooter which is uh, comfortable I would say. It got a lot of functions and uh, it is st uh, uh, installed by the Cron tec technicians uh, as a standard one bit TIFF shooter together with their plate setters. Um, one disadvantage is that you <laughs> cannot easily uh, modify once created templates um, because you don't get access to all the parameters you have once set up. So um, then you can also generate a new template, edit in some parts the existing template or delete it. You cannot copy a template, that's also a disadvantage. Okay, I want to start with a new template and at first you g give it a name. It is for uh, Heidelberg um, Sp uh, Speedmaster 52 so then the um, plate format would be uh, 525 by 459 millimeters and the resolution of the device is 24, 2540 and so we have to set it up here because uh, Cron machines are always set up to a fixed resolution and this is described in uh, uh, a parameters file which is used by the technician so you cannot really set up different resolutions. Okay, here we type in then our format and the thickness of the plate, so for the normal 30, 0 0.30 millimeters we have to type in 0 0.27 we can add this okay it already exists okay so we can close it here and you see it's already registered here for the uh, laser power which also um, defines the uh, light sensibility automatically we choose a laser power by uh, 50 milliwatts and uh, this is uh, a value which comes from a test light test during installation and also the speed of the drum it is uh, this information you will get from the cron technician so this is a very fast machine we took the high speed and uh, uh, we got 48 laser diodes so it is activated from 0 to 47 okay um, we got an auto loader a punch bridge and a processor together with a plate setter so that's the reason why we also got it here and the you see it above here in the menu okay on the next on the right side we see that the job will be also centered horizontally and vertically and we don't have a, um, a rotation uh, all the jobs we will send in into to the plate setter will be in the size of the plate so we don't have to um, do any modifications in, uh, in the position we don't got a negative image and also no mirrored image so that's would be set up here okay so we can go on with the setup for the auto loader and we see that the uh, newly registered cassette for uh, in the multi cassette we got the newly registered plate format here and uh, the next step is then here the punch bridge we have to set up we got one punch bridge if the entrance is at the front and the exit is on the back side 
so that's what we have to punch set up here and then the processor we uh, here in my installation I don't got a sys complete system here so I don't have to set up here uh, individual values I l keep it on the standard values the next part would be annotations um, it's n helpful always to get some annotations on the plate and they should be placed here on the left side of the plate and the positioning is various are okay it is in uh, relation to the plate edge and not to the image so it would be almost m mostly the best setting and we will say that it could be the original file name the TIFF file name which give all also the uh, color name and maybe the output date and uh, well, drop number is also nice too so um, we can also set up uh, and come for exposure uh, an output control strip uh, but uh, we won't see it here in the preview so because all, because all these elements they only can be seen on the plate and not on the preview so uh, you have to uh, wait for the plate to check it if it is right or not but I can also uh, set it up here maybe like this that you get the automatic screen angles here also as a short uh, information you can give out all these settings about the color and the screen angle check also as a QR code okay um, what else of course then some additional functions we need to um, set up a location where the uh, TIFF, one bit TIFF files uh, should be placed by the RIP software so that uh, Labu can uh, grab them and uh, process them into uh, here into this one bit TIFF shooter so we say we have to go to the location of um, of the of the hot folder that's always at C program files cron labu and hot folder and uh, the specific folder f which I named here for this template is created automatically so that's all I have to set up here and I say confirm okay as, you, as I described it automatically creates then this new hot folder okay yeah I have to say that uh, it should place it into the printed jobs okay that's it and you see that the new hot folder is here to make it really work I have to enable this hot folder and now I, now, uh, I can send my jobs from the RIP into this new hot folder the job is just started from the RIP and in a few seconds uh, the separations will enter Labu and you can see them here on the in the upper window they are coming th the separations it's it's a five color job and uh, when you click on a separation you can get uh, some basic information about this file and also you can generate a preview and for a better or more detailed view you can also use this magnification tool here and the hand for moving around and localize special things also we got a pipette and we can see here for example we got 49 46 uh, percentage that's uh, 45 
percentage patch so that you are sure that bl this plate is a linear plate, there's no uh, linearization activated. And uh, oh, of course, then you can also check the separation. It's okay, it's, bl it's black. One, turn around, see the uh, rotation uh, on which uh, uh, on which the uh, job is sent to the plate setter. So in, in that case, the gripper punch is on the left side. Okay, and yeah, you know, when it's everything's fine, you can start it uh, directly from Labu the job to the plate setter and of course maybe you have mentioned here's uh, something like error standing in a question mark that means of course I don't have a cron plate setter here in my office and uh, so also when I click on the job for starts it said offline cannot output okay so basically I like Labu very much it's a very comfortable tool and uh, yeah Hopefully, hopefully you like it too.